and Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. In this video, I am going to discuss the types of exocrine glands based on the mode of their secretion. First of all, we will discuss the merocrine glands. In such glands, the secretion is being formed it is accumulated in a vesicle and finally from the vesicle exocytosis occurs and it is released out of the cell so secretion is given by exocytosis of vesicles important to note that neither cell membrane nor cytoplasm becomes the part of secretion The examples include pancreas, parotid salivary gland and most of cutaneous sweat glands. Then comes another mode of secretion that is apocrine glands in apocrine glands the secretion is accumulated in the apical portion and the apical portion is pinched off from the cell. So we can say that a pical portion of cell is pinched off. So the cell membrane and the cytoplasm both enters the vesicle along with it secretion. The examples include the lipid component of milk is released from memory glands by this method not the protein component protein component is released by merocrine method So, merocrine way of secretion is involved in the release of protein component of milk, but the lipid component is secreted by apocrine way. The last one is that is holocrine. Holo means complete. In this type of your yeah, mode of secretion, the secretion accumulates in the cell and the whole cell is destroyed to release the secretion. So we can say that here whole cell is destroyed to release the product and thereafter it is replaced by another cell which will continue the process. Example includes the oil secreting glands of body that is sebaceous glands and the modified sebaceous glands. So this is all about the type of exocrine glands on the basis of mode of release of their products. Now we will view some diagrams and the images related with such type of glands. In this diagram we can observe the various types of glands on the basis of mode of secretion. The first diagram indicates the merocrine gland in which 
the exocytosis of secretory granules occur without any damage to the plasma membrane. In the next one, that is apocrine gland, in this type of gland, the apical portion of the cell along with secretory product is pinched off from the surface. And the next one is, that is holocrine gland, in which the whole of the cell is shed along with the secretory product. As the secretory cell matures, it dies and becomes the secretory product. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.